Hi there, I'm Jim Coffey. I design and create automata near San Diego, California. It's, it's Sunday, the 10th of January, 2021. Things in our nation's capital are a little bit erratic. I hope that the year 2021 allows us to put a lot of this behind us. The video today is a technical video. It's the first showing of auger lift number one, actually circulating marbles. As you can see, the automata has not been painted. That will happen after it's run another 20 hours or so. I'll be showing you the different uh, components of this automata. It's relatively simple. Um, but I would say that um, a dominating factor in the build of this automata has been the fact that I have a 3D printer. A surprisingly uh, large amount of components have been created by that printer. And I'll point them out to you as I go. So starting with the biped, it's made from basswood leather hinges here and here otherwise wood dowels with nylon um, spacers as hinges the head is a 3d printed head that is then been covered with an epoxy skin and the hair that you see is a wood filler that's been applied after the epoxy skin the this has worked well, This um, the way that this head has been created. The ears also have been 3D printed. So I've got a head that's relatively anatomically correct, and um, it was easy for me to create. The track, the marble run itself, is 1 32nd inch plywood that um, is held spaced apart by spacers that were printed with a 3D printer. I'm really liking the way that this worked uh, worked out. The track assembly is, uh, you know, it's like three loops, is very rigid. I'm, I'm surprised. For example, it doesn't want to straighten itself out. If you glue it, as I did, you glue it one spreader at a time with uh, super glue, it then holds its configuration. The auger lift is an auger that I picked up at a swap meet. I paid about a dollar for it. Uh, what I found is that that was a really good buy. These are called planting augers, and this auger, when I buy another one, will cost me about $15. The biped is attached to this assembly with magnets, so it's removable very easily. And then the elliptical paddle assembly itself, you remove three screws and it comes out. So it's very easy to maintain the biped. It's easy to maintain the elliptical assembly. And with the elliptical pedal assembly removed, it's very easy to maintain the marble run itself, the auger lift and the marble run. The motor underneath is a six watt gear motor. It's very quiet and um, it powers the auger and the biped, the pedals. With the elliptical pedal assembly removed, the motor remains in place, the auger turns, and I was able to create and fine-tune the marble run itself. At the end of the marble run is a magnetically charged shock absorber. This slows the marbles down and allows them to drop down onto the entrance ramp. The 
biped lift assembly is cam powered and because I've got arms of different lengths on the paralleling mechanism I'm able to not only get an up and down motion but I'm getting a forward motion as the biped lifts which is what I had wanted to accomplish. The biped is powered by a motor only. The electricity is comes from the wall, 110 volts, into what I call an electrics module. It's got a switch on it, an on-off switch, a 3-amp circuit breaker, and an hour meter. This automata is somewhere near 17 hours right now. And I'll probably run it another 20 before I disassemble it and paint it. All in all, I'm pleased with this build. I'm looking forward to getting it through its next 20 hours uh, as it selects its marbles. It's running very reliably right now. Rarely is it dropping a marble. Here at the end of the elliptical pedal assembly are linear bearings. They're ball bearings inside of a sleeve that permits linear motion. The crankshaft assembly is sitting in a 3D printed pillow block. So there's a four journal pillow block. Crankshafts partially 3D printed and then pinwheel gears that were 3D printed and into which I've installed one inch long, one eighth inch diameter roll pins, stainless steel roll pins. The entrance and exit ramps have uh, functioned beautifully. I'm, I've been able, as I build these automata, I'm able to make these things simpler, uh, simpler and more reliable. You can see that if I push and pull on this, how little it wants to move. It's very, very sturdy. So that's it. Um, technically unpainted, this is auger lift number one. I hope you've enjoyed this video, perhaps learned a little bit of something from it, and I'm wishing you the best for 2021. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.